Hey everybody, it's Cappy Smack, and we're here to test a theory. Now, in this save file that I'm about to load, yesterday, during a God Mode tutorial, I gave myself all of the glyphs in the, side, in the save file because you can do that. And so now I'm going to go back to that save file where I have not played through any of the game to give me access to the portals. I'm going to see if I can find a portal on a planet, and then I'm going to see if I can use the glyphs. Whenever it gets done loading stuff. Okay. So now I'm going to go find me a portal. Which I don't know if I... I need, uh, I need to use my... Uh... Oh, because I can't do that either. I, don't, I can't... Uh... Finding a portal is going to be kind of a pain. But, okay. What's in that other ship? I think that's just a trash ship. Yeah, this is just a trash ship. Thruster fuel. Well, I got nothing on this one. Um, yeah. I don't know if I have a mech room. Is that a mech room? Nope, I do not. Yeah, I haven't played through anything. And I need to find a station. I don't even have a scanner room. I have storage. I have a refiner. Okay. I have nothing here. I can't tell if we have a station in this system. Probably not. Let me find a more populated. And I need uh, fuel so I can jump this guy. I have nothing. Man, what am I doing? Um, I need to... Uh, Tweak my save file, man. So I've got a restore point. I'm going to jump back out. Go to desktop. You're going to see nothing for a few minutes. But you can listen to me speak. I take my word for it. So uh, now I need to go into my save file. And I need to go to my freighter. I need fuel. So I'm going to add an item. It's going to be a product. Uh, consumable. Is it pretty fuel? Frigate fuel, frigate fuel, 200 tons. I'll give myself a stack. And then another stack. And another stack. That's frigate fuel. I need hot and dry fuel. Yeah, okay. Uh... I drive module on um, shit. What is it called?
Well, I could use ion battery, sure. Give me a stack of that. Um, Bear with me. Nobody in chat's helping me, so I have to do this on my own. So, um, people in the chat like to watch me struggle. This restroom, there's only one person. Um, Is it jump fuel? I'll take launch fuel, sure. Why not? Star shield batteries, yeah, those are always good. I'm finding everything but what I need. Come on, chat, help me out. Uh, hyperdrive and fuel types, warp cells. Come on, brain, start working. Uh, it's at the end of the list, too. I was getting there. Warp Piper Core. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Piper Cores are good. I'll just get myself uh, five stacks of Piper Cores. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm awake now, and I need my Minotaur to have all the necessary stuff. Technology mech. Uh, let's give him an AI pilot. Let's give him a cannon. And a laser. Self-greasing servos. All vehicles can have an Icarus fuel system. Uh, it's not a component.
Oh, radar ring. That's it. And then some S-Class stuff, the Minotaur laser upgrade, uh, Daedalus engine upgrade, why not? Do a couple, two, three of those. Cannon upgrade, why not? A couple of those. Let's move this stuff down. Uh, some laser upgrades. A couple of those. I think we're good to go in a Minotaur so I can find a portal. And... Then for building materials, building things, basis for discovery, known technology. Can I add myself enough technology without actually playing through? I don't know. Oh, I say storage rooms, blah, 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 add product. Geo Bay Exocraft Terminal. Let's add one of those. Well, there's a lot of technology in the game that you don't seem to have access to. Exocraft room. Where would that be? Galactic trade room. Galactic Trade Terminal. Oh, you can select more than one. Got it. Exocraft Room. Exocraft Expansion Unit. I don't know. Exocraft Summoning Station, Exocraft Specialist Room, Exocraft Terminal. Well, let's try to add all those. And save the save file. Using the save file editor, jump back in the game. And we're back in biz. Oh, here we are. Load my save file I just saved, which is a few hours and 18 minutes. 
Wait for it to load up and see if I can deploy me an exocraft. On a planet. was useful. Okay. All right, let's see if I can fuck around here. Do I have things I think I have. I do have things. I can jump my freighter. I'm not sure what room that is. Or why I have it. But let's see. Can I build a fleet room, Blackridge Freight Room, Exocraft Specialist Room, yes. Uh, that's not exactly what I want. Okay. Maybe these are somehow tied together. Not. Final room. Like a straight room. It's not really what I wanted. Yeah, all right. Well, then I need a populated system for the station. And maybe it's trying to take me there. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. It's pirate control. Oh, here's base parts and things. Uh, that's what I was looking for. I need salvage frigate modules. Which I bet I do not have. Well, I am going to go jump out and give myself a stack of salvage frigate modules. So I can do what I want to do. Back, I'm gonna get myself several stacks of salvaged friggin' modules. We're gonna get out of the save file and do some unnatural things. Put them on my freighter. Salvaged frigate modules. Uh, it's a consumable. Salvage Fleet Beacon, not really. Salvage Hyperdrive Upgrade, not exact. Salvage Frigate Modules. Not entirely.
And again, if you have more fun doing this in the game by just playing through, then by all means, have fun. I'm trying to demonstrate something, and I can't do that if I'm going to have that kind of fun. And I'm going to put everybody on hold because I have to go take a call. salvage frigate module so I can unlock some things. Meanwhile, I'm taking care of biz on another computer. so cute when potential employers think they can get my birth date. Just by asking. Do I have salvage frigate modules? Hey, what do you know? I just spent two weeks finding all of these salvage frigate modules. Because that's what it would take. Just in case you thought it wasn't. I mean, I know where to find them. But it would have been too weak. Minimum. And here's what I'm looking for.
Five thousand nanites for each of these is a little pricey. So crap room. I don't need that one. just a regular room. Well, I'll get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. And I want scanner room. I need ionized cobalt. For my materializer. So you know what that means? I'm going to give myself a stack of ionized cobalt. Oh, can I put a safe beacon down? I'm guessing the answer is maybe no. Alright. And if you think it's tedious to watch me do the save file thing, just think, keep in mind, doing this in the game would have been even more tedious. To do what I'm trying to do now, it would take many days of playing through the game. Which you can do if you want. I don't really have that kind of time. Uh, freighter. Ionized cobalt. As in, let there be. Is there an S instead of a Z? I don't know. There is. Because we got VOPM. That gives me my ionized cobalt, and then I can save it again. And bippity bop. Jump in, jump out. Some people might think I breaks immersion, but I think it breaks immersion. You have to spend two weeks trying to do something you wanted to do two weeks ago. If only you had INS Cobalt. But yeah, you can go find a cave. Find the cobalt, try to figure out how to ionize it, or you can try to figure out what planet would have ionized cobalt and then go and search them with that. Or you can just go to the save file and give yourself what you need. I mean, I realized that people who wrote the game have a certain style in mind, they have a certain 
thing they want you to do. They have a certain goal in mind for why they designed it. But let's just say, I don't really care about any of that. It's not my first day in the game. If it were, I might decide to play through at least once, which I've done. But I, let's say I went out and spent uh, several days of playing eight hours a day to get the Cyanus Cobalt. Let's just say that. And now I'm back because I want a exocraft materializer. Where is it? Orbital exocraft materializer because now I found INS Cobalt. You'd be surprised where I found it, but I found it. So now I can scan the system. There should be, should be what I'm looking for. And I'm trying to find a portal. any planet will do. This one's sub-zero. If we had a paradise planet, that would be like ideal. We got boiling, we got sub-zero, we got tectonic, and we got hexagonal, so none of this is going to be ideal. Sub-Zero with water, liquid water. Wow, well, that's cool. Let's see if I can get my mech down. Um, no, because I have no exocraft. About a summoning station. Well, if you don't have any exocraft, you're not going to be able to summon them. <laughs> That's cute. So let's see if I can find me a stellar cartographer. There's not going to be a cartographer here. This is a this is an outlaw station. So I'm just going to do the story.
Let's see what Mr. Atlas wants with me. Might have to go to the anomaly. Spence and Nanite. See, what does this guy want? Well, that's all part of the Atlas mission line, the Atlas quest line. But now I need to jump my freighter. Let's see, if, let's go check the anomaly before I jump my freighter. See what I can do about my lack of an exocraft. These are upgrades. And I think you have to play through the story until you get to the point of getting the X-Craft dude that you can hire.
if I got all those. Yeah, I did, but... The storyline is more of... Um, let's just unpin that. Uh, plot and expedition. I'm not really sure what jerkers are right now. That did not help, so I'm going to... Uh... Get back in my freighter. Find me a more populated system. Let's just say I don't care about that right now. Unless it happens to be in a better system. Uh, it might be. I need a space station. Might as well scan and see what's here. Discovered by Cappy Smack. Alright. Uh, let's go see if we have a station. that we did. Let's see if it's a regular station or if it's a pirate station. It could be a regular station. A station with an engine. All right. Cartographer. 
He's going to want uh, navigation data. Do I have any navigation data? What I need is a uh, alien artifact. navigation data do I have? Apparently I have some. All right. Okay. So now I can go to a planet. Keep looking for alien artifacts until I find something. That's a boiling planet. What are my choices? Isotropic? Hmm, that sounds exciting. Hyperboreal, that's going to be frozen. Temperate? Hmm, temperate might be good. Aggressive sentinels, but... Um... Elsagon Nukajo. Where the hell that is? Probably that one right there. That's isotropic. Well, it's closer. We're going to go check out the isotropic planet. Well, if this were, if this were starships, then my ship would have been blown up and I'd be dead. And I'd be waking up in a hospital, because when you're dead, they revive you in a hospital that game. That's super awesome. Well, zero goes. And we got us an alien monolith right over there. Right over there. One of these star molds.
That's Gambleweed. Oh, I've almost never seen Gambleweed. See what this model needs. It's probably gonna need a Gek thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a Gek. Some kind of a Gek gizmo. We'll see. There's always a question to answer, and then you talk to it again. I might have to give myself a Gek Relic. Oh, I had one. And now I've got a portal. Oh, learn nothing new. Okay. Yeah, I gave myself all the words. And I was curious if I had. Looks like I did. And there is a uh, series of lists you can type in to send you to the center of every galaxy. And we're gonna test that here too. But the real question is, if you give yourself all the glyphs in the save file, does that give you access to all the glyphs? That's the real question. Otherwise, there's a quest. And if this doesn't work, then you have to play the quest. Or wait for it. It's usually pretty late in the Finding Artemis thing. Or you can spend your time finding glowing aliens and ask them where they're from. We're gonna figure that out too. I recommend when you find one of these that you set up a base near one so that you'll, you'll always have a portal easy at hand and you can very easily do that just by setting up a base computer anywhere, it doesn't really matter. You can't set it up right on the property of the portal, but uh, you can set up a base computer. And I could use this as my portal base just by claiming it. And it's not a bad thing to do unless you want to spend your time looking for portals. And it's not difficult to find them, I just found one. I got lucky and it happened quick. You can get unlucky and it can take some time. And so now if I set up a teleporter, two carbon nanotubes, and since there's radiation here, maybe I should build a room. I don't have a lot of choices for rooms. I don't even know if I can put a door in this thing. Well, that'd be awesome. Wow. Well, it's not going to be that kind of room. I think I got parts for right now is a wooden room.
Dog up her roots. Rounded timber roots. Now I have a teleporter. You only need power when you're going to leave. These things don't need to be powered if you're just going to arrive. And the typical formula for setting up solars is for every four panels, you need two batteries. And you need enough excess energy coming from your panels to charge whatever battery capacity you happen to have. Days are 900 seconds, nights are 900 seconds. And if you want to read how much capacity you've got, biofuel reactor. These wires can be 200 units long. And now I can read the status of my power grid and that's my status portal is powered but you only need power when you're leaving it doesn't have to be powered when you're arriving and now we can see hey we got all the glyphs looks like I can use them so I just need to charge them up did not have to play through the story The game only cares if you have glyphs, not how you got them. It's like the game doesn't care how you get your resources to plug in here, just that you have them. All right, got all the glyphs. They're all powered up. Didn't have to play through the story. And now I'm going to get my magic glyph sequence so I can go to the center of this galaxy like Lippy Split without having to play through or waste my time. But again, you can play any way you wish. You can warp from system to system to get to the center. The game will tell you how to get there. That could take forever. You can get the glyphs, modify your save, your, uh, your save file, but make sure you give yourself all the glyphs, find a portal, and then you can magically warp to the center of every single galaxy, which I'm about to do. So I need to find a video I saved earlier. Where I was watching just that on a different account. Uh, here. Okay, here it is. I need to get the glyph sequence, so I have to uh, fast forward through the video I'm watching. Give me just that, and now I've got the glyph sequence.
Tell this guy to uh, unlock the portal. Activate portal. And now I can type in the magic sequence. And this is it. I don't really care what these things are called, I'm just going based on the symbols. You can pause this video right about now after I do this last one, because it's going to activate and open up the wormhole uh, pretty quick. Ignore any errors you get if you get errors, because it might complain, and it's going to put you as close to the center as it can, but before I go through here, I want my trash ship. Which is that one. It's going to take damage. Keep in mind, you can go to the save file and fix all the modules. Or you can do it legit. However you wish. I don't need rockets. And I can't get rid of this one here. But you can get rid of a photon cannon in the save file, if you wish. Also, all of your modules that happen to be in your exosuit, in general, are going to get damaged. The rest won't. But that's like. But again, you can go to the save file and fix all that. So here we go. Nothing's going to be damaged yet. This is going to take me close to the center. my ship. My ship is over there. Uh, there is no damage yet because we didn't jump to the center. Care about that? This is my trash ship and I need launch fuel. And I need um, pulse fuel. I don't even have hyperdrive here, do I? I'm going to jump this one and at least need a hyperdrive. I need five microprocessors and then give myself a hyperdrive. If I don't uh, do a hyperdrive, I can't jump anywhere. And I do have a hypercore, so now I'm good. Someone's got a base here. That's nice. Because they wanted to make sure they always had a portal. Once you have one portal base, you got a portal base for every single galaxy you're ever going to be in. Because you can easily warp from galaxy to galaxy by using the same kind of base terminus, portal terminus, I put in the last base I set up a moment ago. So, um, where are we? We are right at the center of the galaxy. Now I can jump 
right now because I am right at the center. The very next place I can jump to is pointing me right there. So I'm just going to jump. I don't do this very often, so um, I'm not 100% sure what it takes. <clears throat> Let's see, I think I just need to have it in focus. And then... The one I want to jump? Twenty two layers. I'm not hundred percent sure. in the 100%. Hmm. Hyperdrive range is 101. That's going to be an issue. Um. I want to put my name on some stuff. I'm not sure why I can't do it.
people have encountered this. And they say you just select it and then hold the thing to jump. So. All right, right mouse button. I'm still not jumping. I didn't say anything. Maybe it wasn't close enough. I don't know.
Maybe it can't be in the free look. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Hyperdrive has no fuel. All right. Well, at least I know how to do it now. All right, we need to make sure this guy is fully charged, and he is. Hyperdrive has fuel. So oh, that's my ship. Um, Raider. Raider hyperdrive is 96%. So, it has to be 100%. But at least I know how now. All right, so you keep it selected. You press the right uh, thumbstick up. You don't have to be looking at the center. And then it will select it, and you can click X or whatever you normally click to jump, and away it goes. And now we're going to jump to the next galaxy. Yay, I figured it out. I'm so happy. So I'm going to screenshot this portal address. It's the same for every galaxy. Ignore the errors. And we're in Hilbert. And I'll end up on a planet with my trash ship, and it'll be damaged. Along with my exosuit. And I'm going to briefly exit the game after I have a save point, and I am going to fix everything to show you that that can be done. Of course, it's a frozen planet. I can find my ship legit, or I can just call in a fresh ship. That's my trash ship. It can't fly. This one can. Exosuit damaged. This ship is not damaged. Got a save point. I'm going to exit the game, fix everything in the save file, and then I'll be back. And I'll prove it by calling in the ship that should have been damaged and unable to fly. So now I'm going to go to my save file editor. Load the save I've been working on. Go to my uh, exosuit, and I'm going to magically fix everything, repair all slots. I'm going to go to my ship, 
that should have been damaged. And it is in the save file, repair all slots. And now I'm going to save. Exit the save file editor, start the game back up. And now we'll show you that everything's fixed. Now, if you like the gameplay where you have to run around and fix everything, by all means, go ahead and do that. Alright, so, exosuit, it's all fixed. Let me call on the other ship. The ship that I jumped is that ship. And it can fly, because it is not damaged. From this point, I can simply uh, call in my freighter in the new galaxy. Because you can call it up anywhere, and away we go. And that is it for this demonstration. You don't have to play through the story to get all the glyphs. You, you make sure you have all the glyphs in the save file, find a portal, you can do what you wish. And that ends this demonstration, and we'll catch you next time.